Let's talk about GY6 wiring harnesses for the Honda Ruckus. This is our rolling wrench 20 minute install wiring harness. This is an adapter harness, meaning all of these components attach to your original Honda Ruckus wiring harness, the Honda reliable wiring harness. We just adapt some components to make the GY6 work with that harness. I want to educate you guys and uh, kind of show you the changes that we made with our GY6 rolling wrench 20 minute install harness and why we do what we do. So to start, this is our CDI coil combo in one, referred to as the GY6 motor brain. This is a microprocessor, CDI box, and a coil in one. Three wires run the system. You've got a ground, goes to the negative of the battery. You've got the pickup wire. This tells the engine when to spark. This plugs directly into the Honda Ruckus plug. I have a video that shows you exactly how to do this. And then to power it, you've got this plug. You unplug your right hand control. The, con the button on the right that has the kill button and the start button, unplug that. Plug this in line, done. The other way that it can be done, a CDI box and a coil, is by running eight wires. Remember, ours is a three wire, less wires, less chance of a problem. You got six wires running to your CDI box, two wires running to your coil, adds more wires, makes a thicker harness. And the other big problem is this is a setup that you'll find in all of the Chuckuses, the Honda clones, and the Chinese scooters. We definitely don't want to go that way. You, pe you people know about the reliability of a Chinese scooter. So we went with the CDI coil combo. It's an upgrade over the Honda stuff. Next, we've got power wires. Got the starter solenoid with the power wire. This is an eight gauge wire along with the ground wire. You definitely want the eight gauge wire so we don't have to upgrade later. Do everything right now. Don't do it. Do it once, do it right, like they say. This will go from the ground of the battery to the starter mounting bolt. This will go from the positive of the battery to the starter. We include the hardware to mount it to the starter. Everything's here. There's nothing you're going to need extra to make this GY6 run in your Honda Ruckus. Next, we've got the little Adapter plug, if you're running a 24 millimeter carburetor like you find in most GY6s, it's gonna have an electronic choke just like this. This is the adapter, plug that into there. This plugs into the wiring harness. That powers the system, it powers this choke. Now, if you're running a PWK style carburetor like this, then it's just a manual choke and you won't use this plug. It comes with the flywheel puller so you can remove that magneto just like that and you can pull your magneto off next this is where some of our upgrades have come in so now standard you get an 11 pull stator just like this 100 percent plug and play unplug your old stator from your stock honda ruckus 50 this plugs directly into the same plugs and cool thing is is we shorten this wire so you now you don't have a mess of wires. If you notice here's like a standard 11 pole steer. Look how long that wire is. Then you got to like fold it up and it looks real cheesy all folded up right there. So that's been upgraded. But now you have the option of an 18 pole stator. Again, it's been shortened. This 18 pole requires you to use a larger magneto. So it's a huge upgrade over the 11 pole. Why would you use an 11 pole versus an 18 pole. Well, an 18 pole is what came out of the stock Honda Ruckus, so we're matching that. But more importantly, if you're running like accessories, such as like a sound system or a wideband O2 sensor or anything that's drawn your power down on your GY6, this is what this is why you would want to choose this. So there's two options when you purchase this harness. But there's more. Why run the stock Honda Ruckus wiring harness and adapt these components. One big, big reason is because you're not going to take your stock Honda Ruckus fuel pump out. This harness utilizes that. That's very, very important when you talk about the reliability of the GY6 engine. The Mad Dog 
and the Chuckus and all the Chinese scooters, they use what you call a vacuum operated fuel pump. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Although these three fuel pumps, vacuum operated fuel pumps, look different, they all operate exactly the same way on vacuum and that's where the problem comes. I have done a lot of experimenting with these vacuum operated fuel pumps over the years. I thought I found a solution by installing like the OEM Honda Ruckus has a one-way check valve so that when you turn the key off and it's not pumping anymore the gas doesn't flow back into the gas tank. That certainly doesn't solve the problem. When you turn the key on, gas starts pumping to the carburetor. When you turn the key on, you're using this style of fuel pump, no gas is pumping to the carburetor. You'll need to crank the engine over, crank and crank and crank and crank and crank and crank. By that time, your battery's nearly dead. Maybe it'll start, maybe it won't. And that's the reason why you don't want to use a vacuum operated fuel pump. So recap, this GY6 wiring harness adapts to your stock Honda Ruckus wiring. You don't pull that out at all utilizes the very reliable Honda fuel pump. We're doing away with the Chinese scooter fuel pump. The other thing, we've got a microprocessor CDI coil combo in one with the rev delete, very, very reliable. And we're not doing the Chinese scooter Chuckus um, ignition system. We've got a video on how to do all of this. I just wanted to show you why we do what we do and why it's smart, in my opinion, to go this route. Appreciate you guys. Yeah.